training for sustainable bauxite mining and land title security. These were two of the issues raised by Transport and Mining Minister Robert Montague in his contribution to the sectoral debate in Parliament on Wednesday. Jamaica's bauxite sector has had serious challenges in recent years, but it seems to be turning around with a reported 20.82 million tons exported between 2017 and 2019. Minister Montague says the mining training school is training persons involved in the industry to lift the standards and transform it into a more sustainable sector. Portfolio Minister Robert Montague says the idea of training persons in the mining industry came from Member of Parliament for Central Clarendon, Lester Michael Henry. I wish to again pay tribute to the member from Central Clarendon, the Honorable Michael Lester Henry, for this idea and the hard work he did in laying this foundation. The training has started and it is being delivered with the assistance of the Council of Community Colleges of Jamaica. Excelsior Community College has led on this and we thank them. Importantly, we have done, done two courses on quarry management already. Minister Montague also notes that the University of Technology is starting a degree program in mining this August. We encourage all who have an interest to enroll. On this note, we wish to thank the Chair of the Quarries Advisory Committee, all the consultants, committee members, and the staff at Mines and Geology, and all who worked tirelessly to get us here. On the matter of land titling, he says the Ministry will be using the Bauxite and Alumina Industries Special Provisions Act to speed up the land titling process for families who are relocated, given a new house and new lands, while their titled land was taken in order to facilitate mining activities. Many of these persons have been waiting for decades to get a land title for the new lands they now occupy. The process has been slow over the years. We intend to use, for the first time, the Bauxite and Alumina Industry Special Provisions Act to speed up this land titling process by using the power of vesting orders contained in the Act. These powers, Madam Speaker, were always used to assist the companies. This government, this government led by Andrew Holness, this caring government, in order to correct the wrongs and injustices of the past, has decided to use it for our people, our citizens. Minister Montague also shared details of discussions on the possibility of extracting rare earth elements from local land. It is a proven fact that our red mud possess rare earth elements. It is the extraction of same that is of concern, especially the cost. The Jamaica Bauxite Institute is actively looking at new methodologies to do so, and we have not given up on this project. In addition, I have sought legal advice as to whether Jamaica has any rights to the new metals found in red mud being held in the United States. One thought is that the license granted was for bauxite. And our laws, the Mining Act, says if you have a license to mine one item and in the process you find another, you must immediately inform the commissioner, get his permission, and ultimately pay your royalty. Recent surveys by private sector interests have indicated that there exists potentially large deposits of rare earth elements at a location in Jamaica. Rare earth elements, Madam Speaker, as you know, are critical to the growth of the green sustainable economy worldwide. He says more testing is underway and more updates will be made as soon as it's commercially advisable to do so. You can watch the recording of Minister Montague's speech on PBCJ's YouTube channel. Simone Absalom gave reporting for the news on PBCJ.